good day, friends and yogis. I'm Nicole Spirit, and we're here to do a short meditation to increase your psychic intuition. Sit comfortably or lie down. Just make sure you don't fall asleep. And I want you to feel a long energy in your spine. So if you're noticing your breath, that's excellent. You can tip your chin down a little bit so you feel the back of the neck stays nice and long. And perhaps even close your eyes and get into that space where you connect with your whole spinal column going out the top of your head and then going through the body and then like a tree's roots you feel the spinal column going into the ground and connecting with the earth energy. When you create a seven second inhale and seven second exhale you're going to notice that you go into a parasympathetic nervous system, which allows for the alpha brainwave states to take over. So basically slowing down the brain waves. So just gently smile and breathe. And we think about the energy at our heart space. We always want to come from a loving, kind place. So we have the beautiful rose quartz crystal to emanate kindness from the heart. So always connect with your heart. And if there are spirit guides or energies that you work with, make sure that it's always of the highest loving vibration connected to the creator or God of your understanding. So we release any implants, any negativity, any yucky energy, it's not invited here or it's no longer part of your energy field. You feel like a wash of white light energy go through your whole body emanating from your beautiful heart. Then we continue this long smooth breath and we bring our awareness to our third eye known as Ajna Chakra in the yogic terminology. This is the space that our intuition increases and expands from. All the cool in words, intuition, insight, inspiration. Thinking about this being an all-knowing, all-seeing eye. So take a couple of moments to connect the color that's associated with third eye chakra is indigo blue. So think of a beautiful combination of blue and purple energy. You might visualize an eye, a star, a marble, a gem, or just simply connect with maybe even a mirror, what feels like an opening of your Akashic records, which is said to be the library of everything that's ever been and everything that ever will be, a record or a storehouse of magical information. Let's imagine that we're opening up that library now. The best energy for you at this time, done with loving kindness and a kind connection to source energy. Notice that when we consume negative substances such as too much coffee or alcohol or marijuana or drugs or too much sugar that we dull our intuition. Remember to stay in your power, stay strong, stay connected. Imagine your third eye awakening now, the best intuitive energy for you at this time and all of your psychic abilities become increased here. Your clear audience, your inner voice. Perhaps you connect with clairvoyance, inner vision. You might connect with clairsentience, inner knowing. You might connect with telepathy, the ability to communicate non-verbally. And if you've ever had a pet, a dog or a cat, 
or if you connect with animals in nature. We don't usually use too many words to connect that way, so think of your telepathy. And let's try a little exercise right now. I want you to send somebody a little love note. It could be somebody in need, it could be a loved one, it could be a family member, a friend, and I want you to imagine that you're writing them a little note. Could say something simple like, I love you, I'm thinking of you. And I want you to imagine this person receiving this note, almost like a special little Valentine, but every single day. We find that space of unconditional love and healing and kindness, and we send it to another. And who knows, maybe somebody's sending it to you right now. It's like a heart with wings flying over a little love message to you. Good. So increasing all of those sixth sense abilities. So go past our five physical senses and go into that space that's intuitive and releasing confusion and doubt. Then we're going to go to our crown chakra. So we'll bring your awareness above your head and imagine a camera lens or imagine water that's in a funnel and create a space or an intention now where you increase and open that portal through the divine crown chakra to the heavens, to the cosmos, to the universe, to the creator or source energy of your understanding. Again, always done, done with love and kindness. And if something doesn't feel loving or lovable and loved, then we gently ask it to cancel out and release and we continue to open that crown of stars at the top of our head and connect to our divine birthright to feel the energy of God, goddess energy, whatever you call the source energy. And we connect there and feel a beautiful sense of white light turning into rainbow iridescent light showering through us from the head all the way through all of our energy centers. From the crown down to the third eye, go to the Atlas Major Chakra at the base of the skull, then into the throat chakra blue, then into the heart green with a higher heart activation of the color pink and magenta so we do everything with love then we go and wash this energy past our heart into our solar plexus yellow golden sunshine energy washing this energy down our body into our sacral chakra into the orange fiery beautiful energy and then into the base of the spine into the roots into the ground, making sure that you feel grounded and rooted back to your tree and imagine feeling supported and earthed and like a sense of all of this unseen energy that's supporting and nurturing you from below. The saying, as above, so below, so within, so without. Now we will connect to the seven sacred directions, north, south, east, west, above the cosmos, the universe, below the earth, you can connect to earth star chakra, and we'll end up back at our heart, the seventh sacred space. Take a couple breaths, smile now, and imagine that your intuition has increased the best energy for you and your understanding at this time. Perhaps you journal today, perhaps you paint a picture, you dance, 
you do something creative. Maybe you play music or enjoy the beautiful saxophone that's coming from the ethers. <laughs> you are so greatly loved. I'm empowering you. I'm empowering myself to connect with loving kindness as you increase your psychic, intuitive, mediumship abilities. For another practice and exercise to really get grounded and rooted, count down from 100 to zero, nice and slowly. You can see the numbers, you can say them out loud, you can visualize them and try not to get distracted as a way to learn how to focus. Practice that and we'll see you next time. Thank you so much. Feel free to like, subscribe to Yoga with Nicole Spirit and enjoy the rest of your day. I'm sending you all of my love. Hands together at the heart, the light in me greatly